Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Site Roses. In today's video, we will discuss about pre-supply subcontracting. Pre-supply subcontracting in Odoo is a feature that streamlines the process of providing a raw material to your subcontractor. Here is how it works. In many situations, subcontracting, your company is responsible for supplying the raw materials needed to manufacture the final product. When you create a subcontracting order, Odoo automatically generates the necessary steps to transfer those materials from your warehouse to the subcontractor's location. Now let's dive into the manufacturing module to deal with the subcontracting. So as you just move on to the configuration, here you can find the settings where you have to enable the subcontracting. So this would allow you to part the production process to the subcontractors. So once you have made the changes in the configuration settings, ensure that you have saved it in the configuration settings. So once that then we can just move on to the inventory module. In the inventory module you can find the configuration and let's move on to the warehouses. Also ensure that you have enabled the multi-step routes from the configuration settings. Then only we can manage with the um, incoming shipment and all as well as we can also manage with the uh, resupply. So as we just move on to this section here you can see that we have enabled the resupply subcontractor. So this would allow you to collect the raw materials that are not available in your warehouse and you can just subcontract. And now we are just going to um, manage the subcontracting for the product table. So as you just move on to the manufacturing module itself, you can find that we have already created a bill of material for the product table. Now let me consider the bill of material and under the bill of material, you can see that the bill of material type is set to subcontracting. So in this case, we know that we are just going to manufacture the product. Uh, I mean, uh, do the subcontracting for the product table. And in order to manufacture the product table, we have uh, uh, different components. So as you just move on to the internal link of the product, you just need to uh, move on to the inventory and set the route as by. So whenever the uh, we try to purchase an item from the vendor, if we don't have sufficient components available, we have to come i mean uh, just subcontract all those items okay now under the bill of material we can see that the different components that are required for manufacturing the table is a uh, uh, table top table leg bolt screw and all and also just keep in mind that we cannot just perform the subcontracting for uh, the bluff material that are linked with the operation type so if you have linked the bill of material with an operation type, you might be getting error over there. And as you just move on to the components, in the components, for each of the components, we have to designate a vendor, that is a subcontractor, as well as we also just need to uh, set the route as a resupply subcontract on order. So once that's done, let's purchase the item from the vendor. So in this case, you can see that we have uh, provided the subcontractor. So from this person, we will be purchasing the item. So as we just move on to the purchase module, you can see that we are just going to purchase the item. By clicking on new button, you can just fill out the details of the vendor. So I'm going to choose it as Abigail Peterson because we have given the subcontractor over there as Abigail Peterson. Now under this, you can also choose the product that is the table. As I just choose the product table. Here you can see that as we just choose the product table, we can set the unit price or if, if we want to compute the prices from uh, the uh, bill of material, we can also choose that. So let me compute uh, the prices and you can see how it's affected. And afterwards, you can just move on here. So you can set the prices to 83. So I'm going to set the prices to 83 and let me save the purchase order. And let's click on confirm the order. So as we just confirm the RFQ here, you can see that we have to first resupply the raw materials and you can find all the components. Okay. Now, uh, as we don't have sufficient uh, component of table leg, we just need to push that. So uh, if you want to set the components separately, you can just move on to the internal link. And in this case, uh, you can just update the quantity. So let me update the quantity right now by setting the load number. So let's say that uh, uh, N01 is the load number and let's set it as 10 quantity. So afterwards you can uh, save the changes that you have made. And you can see that currently we have 10 quantity and 
when you just go with the checking availability you can see that we have uh, available components i mean currently we have the components available and you can just click on validate in order to do the resupplying and if you want to find the source um order you can also find the source order and under the receipts we can just receive the item so if you want to record the components you can just uh, see the recording of the components and um, you can also click on validate and uh, here we just need to supply the lot and serial number for the product so in this case we want to uh, just set the load number so let's say i'm going to set it as t003 and let's create a new load number and let's record the production over here and let me uh, move on to the subcontracting so here you can find the components that are currently subcontracted and as you just want to validate here you can see that we have currently uh, purchased i mean uh, just made uh, uh, the components incremented i mean the table is just incremented as we just made a purchase so whenever we just try to purchase an item from the vendor and if we don't have sufficient components um in order to manufacture that product we will be uh, subcontracting the raw materials from the subcontractor and finally the product will be delivering uh, to the uh, to the one who have requested the item okay so as you just move on to here you can see that uh, uh, the vendor is Abigail Peterson and we have just subcontracted the iron and if you want to create the bill you can just click on create bill and uh, uh, you can just click on confirm uh, by setting the bill date you can just confirm the um, uh, bill so let's uh, confirm the bill and here you can see we have just done with the subcontracting and this is how we just manage with the subcontracting that is the resupply subcontracting in Oru. 18 a uh, manufacturing module so if you want auto customizations or auto tutorial videos feel free to contact cybrosis as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video